Hello everyone. We will continue the topic about on HANA and we are covering the core concepts or features of SAP HANA and we are currently covering row and column storage. So firstly, we covered there are primarily two ways to organize or we can store the table data, row storage and column storage. Traditional databases only only supports row storage, whereas HANA database supports both row storage and column storage. This is the reason it is called as a hybrid database. After that, we saw in the system where we have the option to choose the storage type. You can go to technical settings of the table and there we have DB specific properties. You can choose row storage or column storage. After that, we understood the complete difference in the system, how system is organizing or storing based upon row wise and column wise. After that, we simply covered when to choose row storage and when to choose column storage. We understood with the help of these example, whenever you want to access a complete row or record, yes, go for row storage because the data is together for that particular record and you are not going for any aggregate functions or calculations, always, always go for row storage. Now, whenever you want to perform aggregate functions or calculations, always, always go for column storage. Now, into this particular video, we will firstly cover the advantages and disadvantages of row storage. Then we will go for advantages and disadvantages of column storage. If the previous two videos are clear to you, it's very easy to understand the advantages and disadvantages of both type of storage. Now, what are the various advantages of row storage? Row storage is extremely efficient for small tables when we want to access a complete row or record. If we have a table and table has suppose if I will say less number of records and you want to access a complete row or record. Suppose in this example, if I want to access the complete record of 456, if I want to access the complete record of 457, 458, 459, so it's a very efficient approach because the data of that particular row is together. It's everything is together. So it's extremely, extremely efficient approach whenever the table has, whenever we have small tables, table has less number of records and we want to access a complete row or record. Generally, whenever we have configuration tables, suppose whenever we are creating our own configuration table, which has customizing data, yes, we always prefer row storage because we all know less number of records will be there and we are picking a complete row or record. Now, we will go for the next advantage, next faster transactions. In case of row storage, the transactions are extremely faster. Firstly, we will understand what do you mean by transaction. Transaction means read transaction, write transaction. Suppose if I will go for simple example, we are reading. Reading means selecting that data. Suppose if I want to select that data or read that data of order number 456, so it's extremely fast because the data of 456 order number is everything together. All four column data is 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 together. So it has faster transaction. Suppose if I will go for write. Suppose for 456 order number, I want to change the amount or if I want to change the currency or if I want to change this particular jetty code. Suppose for 456 order number, 
I want to update the data of these three column. Right operation, I want to go. So it's very, it's very easy, or we can say faster, because the data of that particular order number is together. So system will simply go there and update. System will simply write. So in case of row storage, that transactions are faster. And this is extremely important concept. Generally, yes, interviewer asks yes, in case of row storage and column storage, where the transactions are faster. So generally, people will say column storage. No, in case of row storage, transactions are faster because in case of row storage, the data of that particular row is to gather everything. So if you want to select or if you want to write the everything is together, you can do everything on that particular row because data of that particular row is together. Now, if we will go for the disadvantage of row storage. Now, if we will go for the first disadvantage, more memory usage. Whenever you are going for row storage, it occupies more memory. Now, people will say, why you are saying it will occupy more memory? Because here we have lower compression rate. Means we cannot compress that data in an efficient manner. Now, whenever we will go for next feature, you all know what is our next feature when I cover this. What is our next feature? Data compression. So you will understand very clearly at that point of time, in case of column storage, with the data can be compressed very, very efficiently, but it cannot be compressed or it cannot be compressed efficiently in case of row storage. So if data cannot be compressed efficiently, yes, it means it will occupy more memory. So if interviewer is asking, yes, which row storage occupy more memory? Yes, in case of HANA, yes. So the answer is yes. Row storage occupies more memory because we cannot compress that data in an efficient manner. Now, second disadvantage, whenever you have row storage and you are going for aggregate functions and calculation, you will not get the good performance. And this is fully, fully explained in the last video, why we will not get the good performance. If we are going for aggregate functions and calculations, whenever we in case of row storage. Now, we will move on to what are the various advantages of column storage. Generally, interviewer focuses on column storage. So they will ask, what are the various advantages of column storage? Now, first, yes, it's very easy to understand less memory usage. Whenever you are going for column storage, whenever you are organizing data or storing data based upon column storage, it occupies less memory because we can compress that data very efficiently. If you are compressing the data very efficiently, it means it will occupy less memory. Yes. Now, second thing you already understood, high performance for aggregate functions and calculation because data is stored column wise. So whenever you are going for aggregate functions and calculations, we get a good performance. And this is fully explained in the last video. Now, third important concept, and this is this will be fully, fully utilized in the upcoming videos, parallelization. Column storage simplifies, it simplifies the process of parallel execution because operations on different columns can be executed in parallel and these two lines which is itself the answer. In case of column storage, if your data is stored based upon column wise, it's very, very easy to go for the different operations in different of column operations in parallel. We simply understand. Suppose, I want to go for a operation on order column. I want to go for a operation on amount column. 
Suppose I want to go for a operation on customer column. See, these will act as now independent blocks of data. Data of all the orders is together. Data of all the customers is together. Data of all the amount is together. Suppose I want to make some of amount. This is one operation. Suppose I want to pick unique customers. Yes. So this is another operation. So these all can be executed parallelly. Yes. Because this is column. Yes. Operations on different columns can be executed in parallel because the data of that particular column is together. So it simplifies the process of parallelization a lot. Yes. This is the reason it is written column storage simplifies parallel execution we can operations on different columns can be executed in parallel yes now if i will go for the disadvantage and you can understand very easily that transactions are slower in case of column storage and we will go for simple example suppose if you are going for column storage and you want to read the data of order number 457. It means you need to go to this particular or this particular column. You will pick 457. You will pick SAP. You will pick Euro. You will pick 750. It means read operation will take too much time. Suppose I want to change the details of order number 457. So for order number 457, it will go to here. It will change. It will go to this. It will change this. It will go to this. It will change this. So in case of column storage, that transactions are slower because you need to go to each and every block and you need to just change the data or read that data. So transactions are slower in case of column storage. Now, if I will go for summary, what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered what are the various advantages or disadvantages of row storage and column storage? What are the advantages of row storage? In case of row storage, yes, you can simply, simply go for accessing whenever you want to access a complete row or record and table has less number of records, small tables. It is very, very efficient approach. Generally, whenever the tables has customizing data, whenever we have configurations tables, yes, we always, always go for row storage. Yes, in case of row storage, transactions are faster because the data is together for that particular row. What are the various disadvantage? In case of row storage, it will occupy more memory because compression is not efficient and that will be explained in the upcoming video and you will understand why the data compression is efficient in column storage, not in row storage. Now, in case of row storage, the less performance will be there on aggregate function and calculation because we need to go to each and every row and then we need to perform aggregate functions. Now we will go for column storage. In case of column storage, it will occupy less memory because we can compress that data efficiently. It provides extremely good performance in case of aggregate function and calculation because aggregate functions we perform on columns and data is stored column wise so it's a good performance now parallelization column storage completely completely simplifies the process of parallel execution because data of the columns we have data of the individual columns together so we can simply simply perform the operations on different columns parallel now then we covered what is the disadvantage in case of column storage transactions are slower read transaction write transaction because you need to go to each and every block to pick the data so this is all about row storage and column storage so that's it in this video thank you